Hey gang, what's happening? Hope everyone's well. Today we're going to be going over drywalling at height, so welcome back to another Construction Cronies video. There I am, walking the plank. Uh, we're setting up, this is an extension plank. We have a two-step bench over here, and we have the six-foot bench on the other side. Uh, I put the two-step bench over there for a little extra height because it's just I couldn't quite reach the the ceiling, so I want to be uh, I want to be at least able to palm it from my standing on my feet, right? Um, there's the top of the shack. What we're doing? We're 70 feet up. This is a six-story building, and uh, we're doing the uh, the last bit of the stairwell. And uh, you see Aaron and I working away there. Um, you got to be coordinated and balanced. Um, if you're not comfortable up there, then don't go up there. But you want to have clear communication with your with the person you're working with, with the people you're working with. Make a plan, uh, pre-practice, whatever you got to do. Uh, this is uh, this is dangerous stuff because you're not tied off. You know, you just simply have to be careful not to fall, right? Um, if you need to make the pieces into smaller manageable pieces, then so be it, right? Um, here we had a 12 foot sheet that we had to cut because of a cutout and then the end board here I think was like six feet maybe or something like that. Uh, the total length was 16 feet, so four feet. It was only like four feet or whatever, right? But uh, yeah, you hear the my GoPro 5 actually dropped all the way from the top and it was looking up So I figured I put this clip in to kind of show you what it was like looking looking up um, And man those GoPros are tough But the biggest part is um, getting the board up there in one piece um, you, you know, you really just got to work together and uh, for doing these stairs you can you'll be, you're gonna end up moving the benches and, and the plank to get to where you need to go. Just make sure everything's clear and clean. You know, um, you don't want to have any uh, debris lying around even so that you trip or whatnot. You want to have everything nice and clear, right? And like I said, do a dry run, practice it, make sure stuff is uh, is secure. Make sure the benches are secure, right? You don't want the tabs to be up or anything like that, right? You want everything to be nice and secure. This is double layer on soundbar uh, within a three quarter inch expansion joint all the way around, right? So when I drywalled the, uh, the first layer, the bottom, I lasered it in and uh, made it as nice as I could. So yeah, when sheets are that heavy, work together with your partner to get, you know, don't be a superhero and work on your own. Uh, always work with your partner and, um, you know, try to take some of the load off. Here I wanted to show you that even when you're on the benches, right, like I'm always doing all the screwing off or doing all the work that I need to do within that certain area before I climb down and move the bench over. Uh, I love the three-step bench because I get a lot of reach uh, off of that bench, but here you can see the, we end up drywalling this whole thing, even the sides of the stairs and stuff, but uh, you won't see that in this video. All you're going to see is the 5 8 um, but here it is. The first layer is complete on the back and or on the both sides, and the second layer is complete on the back there. Uh, but now we have the plank in a different area, lower area, so we can lift the sheets up again um, onto the over yeah, here onto our spacers, right? One of the key things to remember is to always have what you need close by, right? So before you start lifting sheets and stuff like that, make sure you have all the deep, the tools and the fasteners uh, that you need uh, before you put lift the sheet, right? Especially when you're doing lids and stuff, because that's you know you need to get those screws in really really quick, right? Uh, but you can see like it's it could be quite a drop, right? So you need to be very very careful. Um, it's dangerous work. Uh, so keep like here. I wanted to show you guys my screwing off because. You want to keep your body square to the wall. Um, always look down before you make a step, okay? Because even at the edge end of the plank, right, it can uh, teeter totter almost, right? If you're off balance, if you go past the the step, right. So you need to always look down and see where you're walking. Keep your body square to the to the wall, and uh, you know use your body weight to uh, get them uh, fasteners in. These are two inch screws going into Resbar, right? So you see there at the end of the plank, how it was like, overextended past the uh, the top step there. That's what I mean. You, if you step on it, it'll, it'll teeter totter. You don't want that, right? So always look to see where you're going. And I like to 
try to, like I said, get all the screwing off, all the fasteners done, all any type of work that you need in the, in that one area before you move over type thing. Um, but uh, this, like screwing off, is, I want it's you know it's the where you could easily forget what you're doing and take the wrong step in the wrong direction and end up uh, you know uh, a story below with a broken back or neck or something right uh, hopefully you would survive and even if you did survive it might not be that comfortable of a life after so you got to be very very careful up here guys it's just I can't stress it enough um, but yeah when you're doing commercial work like I usually do 90% um, of the work is at heights and uh, doing multi-residential like this um, it, it, you kind of trade off the heights uh, like I mean heights working on lifts and things like that uh, you trade them off for doing lids and stuff I want you guys all to be very 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 safe okay don't forget to always look and keep your area clean and keep on watching guys keep watching the next video and I want to hear from you guys all down in the comments and if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask.